Oh, yo, yes, sir, man. We live and we back. Welcome, welcome back to the Golden Goose DFS show. I am your host, Chandler Blakely, aka Goose Man, here today bringing you another edition of my starting five for DraftKings and Fan Duel. All right? No lineup review yesterday, man. Got too busy yesterday. Couldn't really uh, get a video out for y'all. Get my plays out. I think I played one lineup across both sites. Uh, they end up finishing in the money, so we made a little bit. Hope y'all fared well yesterday, man. But we back to drop this video for y'all today, man. So we gonna get right into it on this Saturday. Got a nice five game slate here. Uh, you know, once again, there's going to be plenty of injury news we waiting on, and some we don't know we waiting on, so let's get into the breakdown as we see it right now. At the point guard, man, at the top, I want to look at um, Davion Mitchell right here for the uh, Sacramento Kings going against the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder here. This is probably going to be your, your best matchup on fantasy matchup on the slate, man. Probably be the highest total game out here. Either this or the uh, Milwaukee Trail and the, the Bucks and the Trailblazers game. I haven't checked the lines just yet. But uh, Davion Mitchell, 5,300. I, I, I like this kid here, man. With no De'Aaron Fox. I don't think De'Aaron Fox plays again tonight. I don't know if he's hurt or if he's just sitting out, don't want to come back. I know there was some reports saying he's unhappy in Sacramento. So who knows what's going on over there. I don't anticipate him up and playing tonight, so we should get another Sacramento King game without De'Aaron Fox. And then Davion Mitchell's in the starting lineup. Man, I like going to him at his 5300 price tag. He, he's a guy, he he, he he mainly provides scoring and defense, man. His upside is going to come from if he can get a couple of steals. And I'm hoping he can get that here against the Oklahoma City Thunder team without their superstar in Shea Gidges Alexander. I also like him being more involved. He's probably going to... Uh, 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 draw Josh Giddy. They're probably gonna allow him to check Giddy, and that's why I'm not real keen on Giddy tonight, man. If you know, if if you follow it closely, man, you know they call Davion Mitchell off night, man. He's a very tough defender, so I'm, he's the reason I'm a little low on Giddy tonight. So, but I like getting him at this 5300 price tag. She'll see 30 plus minutes, man. And if he can uh, get the shot going, man, he can give us a nice return at this 5300 price tag. All right, coming in at my shooting guard, man. Uh, I want to look at Malik Monk, man, in this matchup against the New York Knicks. Now, I know it's not a great matchup. It's a pace down spot for the Lakers. But but uh, since LeBron has been out, Monk has been playing very well, man. He's really, to me, just watching the game, just looking at it, he's he's really the number two scoring option right now behind Anthony Davis. You know what I mean? Uh, Westbrook is... Um, we all know his offensive struggles, man. It, it, Monk is the number two scoring option man and he's been playing very well in lebron absent turning in nice fantasy performances and i don't mind getting to him right here at this 6k price tag like i said he's the second dairy offensive weapon behind anthony davis i like this price tag on the very side he should play big minutes and even though it's a pace down matchup i still think he can give us a nice return at this 6k price tag so get you some malik monk here at shooting guard coming in at my small forward man i'm gonna go to the same value i played yesterday man I'm going to go to this Portland team, and, I, and I'm going to look at C.J. Ellaby, man. 3K, we know they shipped all those Portland, well, not, not all, a couple of those Portland guys out in uh, Norman Powell and Robert Covington. We saw C.J. get the start uh, yesterday and, and play solid minutes. I think he's in line for the start in 30, and it should approach 30 minutes here in this game, barring foul trouble or anything crazy happening. And a guy at the flat, man, is going to see those type of minutes. I'm all in on him, man. He gave us a nice return yesterday. I think he got... 27, 26 fantasy points. That's going to be nice. Uh, it's going to be a nice value play on this five-game slate. It's probably going to be a little chalky because it ain't too many value plays uh, on this slate, especially at the flat men. LB and uh, the guy from OKC, uh, Diakiti, or however you say his name, are probably your two chalky value options. I like both of them, actually. You probably can fit both of them in there and get you a Giannis in your lineup tonight. But for the purpose of the starting five, CJ LB is my favorite of the two, all right? Then coming in at my power forward, man, I think we just got to look at Kyle Kuzma here, 7,700. Still no Bradley Beal over here in this matchup against the Phoenix Suns. I like getting the Kuzma here. The price is it's a nice price tag on him. As you know, Kuzma has been performing very well this year with Beal in the lineup and without Beal. But without Beal, he's shown up being a monster, man. You know he's a walking double-double these days. He, he's, he, he uh, continues to pound the glass for this 
uh, Wizards team, and he's the number one scoring option with no Bill over here. So a guy that's been rebounding as well as he has and is the number one scoring option with no Bradley Bill, I take that at 7,700 in his max against the Phoenix Suns. So pace up spot for him here. This should be another good high total game right here in this spot. And coming in at my center, man, a guy I want to look at, I want to try to be early to the party. I'm going to try to take advantage of a low on DeAndre Ayton here today, man. I don't think he draws too much ownership. People are going to try to pay up for, for uh, Giannis here at 1,200, so they're going to slot him in at the center. They're definitely going to try to get to Anthony Davis. Uh, you're going to get some uh, – people going to play some Bam in that matchup against Charlotte. I do like Bam as well, but I also want to look at DeAndre Ayton at 7,100. Going against the Washington Wizards team with no real center presence. Now, he struggled last time out because uh, the, the both teams decided to go small. Here with the Wizards, they don't have a dominant center, but they always got some form of a center in. And Gafford, uh, Harold, uh, 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 Thomas Bryant, who's back tonight. So, it's always some form of a center, but not a big dominant center. So that and they and they do, and they don't really go small. So I expect Aiden to see thirty minutes in this matchup, and he can give us a nice double double at this seventy one hundred price tag. Man, I'm looking for him to finally get going. He he he's gonna need a a, a good solid game to get him back in the field of it after after a layoff or uh, injury. So I like DeAndre Aiden to send the one hundred price tag going against the Washington Wizards. So there you have it, man. My starting five for DraftKings: Donovan Mitchell, Malik Monk, C.J. Ellaby, Kyle Kuzma, and DeAndre Aiden. Man, get you some, get you some of these players in your player pool. And also, if you're just now tuning in, you ain't hit the subscribe button, man. What you waiting on? Definitely, definitely hit that like button, especially if you're this far in the video, man. Why not hit the like button? Now, man, it helps a small channel out and is greatly appreciated. And I thank you so much for your love and support, all right? Let's go look at FanDuel and see how we rocking over there today. Coming in a FanDuel, man. At the point guard, 6100 I want to look at Spencer Dinwiddie. I like this price tag over here on FanDuel. I think he's still too cheap right here in this spot against the Phoenix Suns. We know he's the primary ball handler. We know he provides solid scoring with no Bradley Bill. And a pace-up matchup for him as well, man. I'm going to get to a lot more Dinwiddie on the FanDuel side at this 6100 I love this. I love this price tag right here. Coming at shooting guard, man, I want to look at Gordon Hayward, 5,600. Now, it's a tough matchup against his Miami Heat. Uh, there's a slower pace for them uh, uh, and, 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 a, and a, a, a very solid defensive team in the Miami Heat. But Gordon Hayward saw his return last game out. He went right to 28 minutes. So 30, so 30 plus, I, I think he can easily get to 30 in this matchup against the Miami Heat if the game is close. And, uh, uh, and, and Gordon Hayward at 5,630 minutes, a guy who has 40-point upside. It's just so many miles of feet over there in Charlotte. You never know who it's going to be. But I don't mind getting to Gordon Hayward at this 5,600. There's plenty of value to be had right here. As you, as you can see, he's a guy who's who's averaging 30 fan duel points. You know, we like to target guys who, who, are, who are priced uh, – whose price is uh, 6x already as they average. So 30 points right here, 30 fantasy points in this spot is, is right there at 6x at the 5600 price tag. And I just told you he's a guy who has 40-point upside. So I don't mind taking a shot on Gordon Hayward right here in this spot. Coming in at my small forward, man, same thing. I want to stay with my guy C.J. Ellaby, man. They they are low on wings over here in Portland, man. He should be able to get he, – he's going to get all the minutes he can stand in this matchup. And at 3,800, man, I think he's a very solid value play, especially on this five-game slate. I'm going to have tons of C.J. Ellaby today. Coming in at the power forward, man, I'm looking at Bam Adebayo, man, 8,700 in this matchup against the Charlotte Hornets. Great pace-up spot for him, man, as the Charlotte is the fastest team in the NBA. No real center down there and plumbing. No real center that should uh s slow down Bam out of bio. I like him at this 8700 price tag, and I love this matchup against the Charlotte Hornets. Get you some Bam out of bio today. And then coming in at my center, man, staying with DeAndre Aiden, man, 7400 $300 more expensive over here on FanDuel, but I think it's okay in this spot, man. I told you I like this matchup. I think he should see 30 minutes in this spot. He has the potential for a big double-double, and if he can throw in a few blocks as well, man, then he can possibly reach a ceiling-type performance for him, but I like him in this matchup, right? So there you have it, man, my starting five for FanDuel. Spencer Dinwiddie, Gordon, Gordon Hayward, C.J. Ellaby, Bam Adebayo, and DeAndre. Andre Aiden, man. Get you some exposure to these guys. Get them in your player pool. You know I'm going to have them in mind, all right? That's going to do it for us here today, man. Y'all know the motto. Chances make champions. Y'all green up, man. i see y'all tomorrow, all right? Let's go.